Hi guys, how's it? Um, really and truly, I apologize for looking like a dirt bag, but you know, when things are deep and extreme, uh, we just like come around here looking like dirt. I'm trying to like really concentrate on taking care of my hair and uh, you know, yeah, it's hard to focus on such things as those um, when the world is falling apart and you just feel like, but I'm gonna get new hair in my incorruptible body, so what's the point of dealing with this? But you know, we don't know when we're leaving, so we can't abandon ourselves. Uh, I just wanna show you guys like why. To look at the hair on my nape, my nape, oh, my nape, oh, my nape, oh, my nape. This is huge because I was like at zero before I put my protective style in. You know how you get that cheese cob? No hair at all to be found on your on the nape of on the uh, on your kitchen. Yeah, well, there's hair now. Whatever. This is not about hair. This is about the disasters in the world. And I had to explain my hair first. It's grown, look, guys, because it looks like this. Cause I'm like gonna wash it and try and get it in a protective style. It's gonna be rough. Um, cause I don't have. I'm not in the mood. However, we shall put ourselves in the mood. Otherwise, our hair goes to the dogs. You know what I mean? We don't want our hair going to the dogs, guys. Because what? 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 This is me showing off my length. Like, <laughs> 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 this is me showing off my length, y'all. Never mind length, but look at the girth. Y'all gotta love it. It's time for Africa. Na 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 na. Eh eh. Waka waka. Eh eh. Zum 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 zum. It's time for Africa. Our hair don't move, but our hair is fascinating. Our hair is fascinating. All right, all right. Look at it. Look at look at my. Hair. <laughs> Please do not allow shrinkage to deceive you into thinking ain't nothing going on over this is hair. Yeah, even in my underarms. I'm broke, I'm poor, I don't got no money. I don't got money to be buying shaving creams and everything. Plus, I ain't got nobody to be hot and fly for. I'm single, and I don't think I'm getting married any minute now. So leave me in my bush underneath my armpits and on my head. Because one of these days, we're going to get it all trimmed. Anyway, whatever. Look, guys, moving on, we're done talking about the hair. Now we're going to talk about important matters. My goodness, yesterday I rocked up and I spoke about this, but today we're going to rock up and speak about it again. Hey? <laughs> Father in the name of Jesus has been showing me some things and I'm like <laughs> That's how they make me feel these things that are happening, but we're gonna discuss them and we're gonna have a little bit of a conversation about them guys I had a dream. I had a dream. I was locked out Said your hell I had a dream I was running and you came running out they call us crazy Cause they don't think we know what they've done And when we call them crazy They say Corona, you're the only one they're busy calling Christians crazy and we're like, we got the info, we got the 411, we have the understanding, we're not crazy. <laughs> I had a dream about Will Smith. Why is everybody dreaming about Will Smith? Will Smith repent. Anyway, whatever. He was sitting looking all Will Smithy, okay? Yeah, like Will Smithy. <laughs> sitting there looking all like Will Smithy and, and he was like, I'm gonna save the world. I'm gonna save the world because I'm Will Smith. I'm Will Smith, I'm gonna save the world. And then I woke up from that. I was like, what is going on we are? What's happening? Why is Will Smith claiming he's gonna save the planet? Only Jesus. Will Smith was busy talking about how he's gonna save the world because he's Will Smith. <laughs> Woke up from that dream and I was like, what does that even mean, Lord? I don't know. Like, Will Smith definitely not going to be saving the world. All he can do is slap Chris. <laughs> that wasn't funny. It was disturbing to watch anyway. I just wanted to bring in a little bit of a light-hearted edge to things. What the Lord is showing me is that the world elite. You know, guys, we, ne? in the world over here, in the Christian community, we want to vilify celebrity, eh? We want to go make them look like they are rubbish because they don't love Jesus. They have abandoned their first love and are singing church girl because their name is Beyonce. Hmm? 
Y'all know, we be out here vilifying, scratching the eyeballs out of Beyonce's, like, sockets. Because we don't understand who the enemy is over here at home. Jesus is showing me that the church is concentrating on this here, I lead the wrong thing. So Satan has got puppets. I'm filling my hair. I'm filling my hair. I'm filling my hair. I'm filling my... Some of y'all might be like, Arabo, you listen to too much Beyonce. I'm like, yeah, I used to be in the world. Anyway, whatever. I love <laughs> Moving on. I don't know how many Christians recently have been doing a little bit of an expository thingy on Bobby about uh, Beyonce. One minute. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, I don't have privacy here, so I had to stop recording. Uh, but now back. I don't know how many people have been co Christians, all right, covering Beyonce's new album. I don't know what it's called, Renaissance or something. Yeah. And how it is that it's just like really problematic. It's got all this satanic stuff in it. And oh my goodness, let's run. And indeed, we ought run. But Christ, I believe, has shown me in that dream with Will Smith that we are literally paying too much attention to the entertainment industry's individuals, Ce like celebrities, like these guys that make us jump up and down on the spot because of music or um, acting or whatever. They're not the main problem. They're literally not. They are a portion of the issues. Even in the Lord's word, in the book of Revelation, the Babylonian harpists and flutists and musicians and whatnot, they are mentioned, but like in just one chapter of the Bible, as being destroyed because they influence the world negatively but the main oaks that are spoken about like a lot are the kings of the world basically politicians you guys politicians the kings of the world the queens of the world the gangam style is running the show they're the ones that are most mentioned literally across the scriptures in all the eschatological books um dan the man speaks a lot about kings you know uh john the man speaks a lot about kings basically any book at all where we are highlighting issues with the world at large going to like the dogs it's always the kings even in the olden days uh it was always the king's rebellion basically that brought like everybody into some strange space nebuchadnezzar is the one that exiled all the hebrews in his like random country pharaoh is the one that enslaved all the um bobbies the hebrews in his random land uh jehoiakim is the one that basically burnt the scroll that baruch wrote with jeremiah uh ahab is a dude that wreaked havoc in elijah's life and so did too did the queen jezebel right it's always been the queens and the kings and not so much the harpists the flutists the musicians the guys with the uh, artistic talent and so if the prophets of old focused on jerry the maya hey not jerry the maya sorry not jeremiah but like if jerry the maya focused on jail the kim right if if Dan the man focused on the Nebuchadnezzar, and if Joseph focused on the Pharaoh, and if Moses focused on the Pharaoh the Fifer, you know what I mean? Then why in the world aren't we focusing more on the Pharaoh? Look, it's okay. Go and expose it on Beyonce. I'm finding this is an issue here in the last deal. Christian channels. I love my brothers and I love my sisters. I love my brothers and my sisters. I do. I feel like I gotta sing a song the way I love them. Oh, they're my brothers. Oh, they're my. Sister, loves them, my people. I love them. I hope that made you guys feel loved. All right, love my brothers, love my sisters, and my brothers and sisters are doing a great job doing what they're doing. However, brothers and sisters, remember we don't belong to the world. Boom boom. We don't belong to the world. We belong to Jesus, and we cannot be gunning for prosperity in a very worldly fashion so when i was starting my youtube channel i was like oh i'm starting my youtube channel and then it just kind of crashed to the ground and then i started to be serious about it trying to monetize because you know my life is so bad that i can't carry on like this so i need a salary and so basically i'm trying to monetize my youtube channel okay so like we know that that's what's going on because i had no other options and then i lost my nine to five eight years ago okay so like that's like what my story is and uh so in learning like how to grow my youtube channel and the heel and, and it's actually started to grow uh i got like some counsel advice you know girl get that thumbnail deed girl look for the keywords girl find out what's trending on the tube machine and follow the wave follow the wave follow the wave um, so I was like, oh, okay, thank you for the advice, guys. I'll try and implement as much of it as I can so I can get those subscribers. <laughs> 
yeah i did that right um and then i started to notice in all of this like checking our trends of uh, christians like believers what they're doing you know like yeah in my niche check out what my niche is trending and i'm a christian why is my niche trending beyonce i'm a christian why is my niche trending the slapping of chris rock is it by who's the will smith why is my niche trending like oh, what would recently happened what happened what happened like eminem's alleged redemption is he really saved is eminem saved i don't know are sweeties saved because as a christian that's all you should know eminem's as sweeties the door screeching so we're gonna go and put a log in front of the door and come back Kanye's divorce from Kim. Why in the world are Christian? Okay, fine. So we put the log there. You're gonna know that the log is there because no more screeching over a door. Okay. Now Kanye's divorce from Kim, and now Kim is with a boy toy. How do I know that? I don't really check out celebrity gossip that much, but I check out Christian content. I should not know this much about celebrities. I literally shouldn't. If I'm not busy actively checking out celebrity gossip, I shouldn't know about it. Cause I only check out Christian content. And so if I'm finding out that. Beyonce is having a fight with Jay Z. Why do I know that? <laughs> I shouldn't know that if I'm not actively trying to find out what Beyonce is doing. But I'm finding out a lot. Eminem. I know that apparently he's interested in Jesus because like all the believers are covering him. Justin Bieber's ambivalence with Christ. I know about it more than I know about the persecuted church in North Korea. Why do I know about that more than I know about? actual christian and news nobody wants to cover what's going on with us no one wants to cover the suffering saints there in afghanistan and what they're going through on the daily as much as they want to cover what beyonce is doing in her renaissance album i didn't even know what the word thoughty was until i listened to a christian cover the lyrics of one of beyonce's songs and it used the word thoughty and i found out that that word means basically a harlot like a little bit of a gomer roaming around like i'm a christian so my references are biblical so a thoughty is a woman that's like gomer can't stop sleeping around all over the show she is unraveled in light of her you know self-control when it comes to sexual antics that's a thoughty so according to beyonce gomer was a thoughty but why do i even know what that word is <laughs> i wouldn't have found out <laughs> If I hadn't listened to a whole bunch of Christians basically expository preaching against Beyonce's song. Is it Church Girls or Thoughty Thoughty? Whatever. Maybe the name of the song is Thoughty Thoughty. I can't come. Hulukile guys, ne? Alright. Okay. Around you guys. Ain't no judgment. Like I said, I love my brothers. Who and my sisters. And they my brothers and sisters. And I love them. Ain't Hayden. You gotta indeed call out Beyonce. Because Christians are actually in these streets listening to Beyonce. Because we shouldn't do that. The Lord said call out from among you. Hey. Those who are sexually immoral. Hey. Don't let them get away with it. Hey. Like properly. Like gun it down. Don't let it stand. Otherwise it's gonna disrepute the name of Christ and the church. Stop it. But we ought focus our energies more as believers in the lord jesus christ on that which the prophets of old focused on and christ himself the eschatological book writers like daniel and john the man we gotta focus on what they were looking at they told us this is what you must look out for in the last days guys they basically told us to look at vladimir putin more than beyonce they told us to look more at kim jong-un than beyonce at emmanuel macron and risa adiwan wadi wadi however you pronounce his name they told us to look at um like you know who's that dude Jim boom bing the chinese okie they told us to look at cyril rama pause her because he likes to pour south africans we are told to look more at the kings of the world the pharaohs the ahabs and the jezebels the queens and the kings more than we look at the harpist the flutist and the musicians because the harpist the flutist the actors the actresses of this world are only puppets on a string oh, the global elite they also are puppets on the string like if you think about uh secret societies these like nefarious beings that are like pinky and the brain they're pinky and the brain the one is a genius the other's insane it's pinky and the brain. Pinky and the brain. It's pinky. It's pinky and the brain. Brain, 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 brain. What are we gonna do tonight, brain? Sleep. 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 Sle
same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world! <laughs> Who's been doing that for a minute? It's not Beyonce and her church girl song. Uh -huh. It's the global elite. They've been trying to take over the world for a minute. Been trying since like Nimrod and the Tower of Babel. And some we are gonna get to heaven our own way. We're gonna do it. Watch me do it. It's been Nimrod. It's been the king. It's been everybody else that's been given kingship. And they're the ones that are given any kind of clout by the secret societies of this world. Think about the Freemasons, the Illuminata. Even though they deny they exist, who is really truly powerful among them? They get to like down a person and raise them up as they desire. If they don't belong to like a family unit or something. The ones that get elevated to positions of power like presidency and whatnot, they tend to have loftier positions within the Freemason-like space. They tend to also be blood-linked, if not blood-linked, then raised, basically groomed like from birth uh, to do random strange stuff. Um, think about Hakim from Ka Ka a Coming to America. <laughs> think about him, right? In Coming to America, he was born to King Jufa Jafar as a son, and he was a supposed to inherit the throne no matter what and um lisa became like the future queen only because he like went out of his way to look for her and then she came into the kingdom and became the queen however there was a queen to be and she's gonna fulfill all of your desire that was chosen for him chosen for him uh from birth right but he decided to go and find lisa in america grooming from the moment you come out of your mama's womb to be the queen of jaffa jaffa's kingdom zamunda well the freemasons kind of operate like that eh? they groom little boys from kenya and make them american presidents because their name is obama from the moment they're young they groom them they get them at, like like in schools like harvard or What's the other one? Uh, Yale, you know, where the bones and skulls, skulls and bones, doesn't matter, something kind of skeleton, skeleton like okay, like in the closet. They groom people from that young, either from childhood or from the moment they get out of high school or something, and they're like, I want you, and you're gonna be the president of the US. But he who chooses them is he who already belongs to Zamunda as a son. It's Hakim, it is Joffrey Jifa. Do you know what I'm Hey! Boom! Did I just hit a nail in the coffin? <laughs> I think I did hit a nail in the coffin, guys. Don't deny it. Be honest. Just be frank. Honesty is the base policy. Silence is never golden. Okay? Never. Not when the world is done. We must talk. Silence is violence. Anyway, whatever, right? So, Jaffa Jaffa um, is the tenement of whoever is blood-born Rastacrucian or Illuminati or Freemason. And then there's like, I don't know, Obama, who is like chosen from the moment he was like 12 or something because they saw that he could totally kill it for us. Because uh, like, I don't know, his mama's generational curses are such and such. And then there is like Beyonce who's like, mm -hmm, she's cute, she's 16, ah, okay, let's see what we can do for her. <gasps> People like her, cause she's a yellow bone and she's very cavacious. Alright, let's see what more you can do, what are you prepared to do? Are you prepared to give me your heart, your soul, your lung and your ear? Are you prepared to give me your beauty spot, are you prepared to give me your dimple and your left buttock? So I can use it for my own benefits, if you are happy to send your soul over to the devil, Beyonce, Beyonce. Okay, I will give you millions and I will make you marry someone that is belonging to that family, so. Jay-Z look like he could be the right one, so. Go marry him. You prove yourself when you are 17 that you're willing to do whatever it takes to belong to us. Really, you are more like a convert Jew. You aren't born a Jew, but you became Jew. You are not really the real deal, but we'll take you. You know how it works with, with proselytizing people. Proselyti pr proselytizing people into the religion of judaism like you kind of have to be born like authentic jew to be taken 200 percent seriously but everybody else that converts later on is like you ain't even the real deal please we just give you a shot that, that's how the jews look at proselytes right that come especially from different races and different um what is this a uh, cultural groups they are like okay so you married a jew don't take yourself too seriously i'm thoroughbred and you're a half breed that's literally how they look at new converts to judaism 
just a little bit unfair. All right, well, just like conversion to Judaism, so too is becoming an Illuminati member or a Freemason or whatever when you weren't born in the family. You are a half-breed and they can get rid of you at any minute because frankly, you're not really truly blood, okay? Like, if I had to choose uh, between you and her who falls off the building, it's gonna be you. And that's why they so easily like just like massacre people. They just drop them to the ground. They just drive them into houses because their name is NH. Yeah, they easily just like, you know, yeah, do all that stuff in Cancun. Evil is very nefarious. So when an individual is making money, killing it, money, and they're all rich and famous, guys. They're a half-breed. They're not the real deal of what we ought be focusing on, eh? Shouldn't be focusing on them guys, eh? Shouldn't we really focus on the guys that gave them the power? They're the nefarious beings and dwelt by Satan himself for some hefty demon principality. A little bit of a dark thing going on inside them. They're the ones that by blood generationally have been transferred into them. The ability to basically shape the world using everybody else down here on these streets. And depending on the willingness of Will Smith. We shall use him since his name is Will, okay? Depending on the willingness of Will to sign his soul over to the devil, they will then give him what appears to be clout and power. And so Will Smith ends up feeling like he's got the power. Hey, until one day they just kind of like drop him because he said something strange about the trans movement and he's not famous anymore. Like, they fall splat as quickly as they rise if they don't keep themselves in a bunch. So, Essentially, they're just puppets on a string. <laughs> and the Lord has been saying it for a minute in the Bible. I mean, Jeremiah focused on Jehoiya Kim. Why in the world are you focusing on little Kim? <laughs> that just came to me. <laughs> Why are you focusing on little Kim when you're supposed to focus on Jehoiya Kim? <laughs> focusing on Jehoiya Kim. Sorry, on little Kim when you should be like, it's still so funny. <laughs> Here it is that they're focusing on Jehoiya, on little Kim, but they're supposed to be focusing on little, on Je Oh snap, my rap line got busted. <laughs> anyway, we are supposed to be looking not so much at Justin Bieber as we are supposed to be looking at Pharaoh, as we are supposed to be looking at Putin, at um, who is this like little puppy dog of Putin? Um, the one that just annoys everybody and everybody walks out of the meeting. I, I forgot his name. Ah, I cannot forget him. That funny little looking guy from Russia that think that the war is okay. We should be looking at those guys, okay? Because that's who it is that Christ's servants looked at in order to write Bible prophecy, warn us about what's gonna come, and also deal with the like situation of their time. Whatever was the trouble and the torment of their time, it was always kings. Even the Lord says in I believe it's Matthew 10, right? Uh, you know, when he says that he's come upon the earth not to bring peace, but a sword, division. Da -da! Right? When he comes to bring peace, not peace, but a sword, he speaks about how it is that mother will be against daughter, you know, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, etc. Family members are going to hand you over to be killed. Sons are going to be hand over their parents to be killed. Um, and then later on, it is written that all of these things are going to be thrown out of the synagogues, right? People are going to persecute you thinking they're doing a service to God. But all of these things, as they happen, do not fret in front and freak out because not a single hair is on your head is going to perish. You are put before governors, governors, not Beyonce, guys, or Jay-Z or Will Smith, huh? but governors and kings so that you will testify to his name. And on that day, not a single hair on your head is going to perish. It was Herod on behalf of his daughter, I forgot what her name is, Simona, Samuna, Salalala, whatever, that he chopped off the head of John the Baptist. It was at the decree of a king, all right? It was not at the decree of a celebrity that saw it fit to like, you know, use their clout and their influence because they have sung at the presidential inauguration uh, to humiliate a believer or whatever. It was always the king. But things, the thing about kings, they are so boring and so tiring. Everybody's like a child deep down inside. I was watching some, I was listening, reading something during the podcast yesterday on Quora, right? You know that website, Quora? Mm. Uh, where some woman, was, so somebody was writing some motivational story about aging. And she's like, uh, a child is not, uh, sorry, an adult is not a dead child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an adult is not a child that died. An adult is a child that survived. <laughs> that was funny. 
I thought that was funny. Anyway, an adult is a child that survived. And indeed, a lot of us maintain much of our childish antics all the way up until we grow up. We continue to like like eating sweets instead of vegetables. We continue, you know what I mean? It's just that the thing that kicks in is responsibility to realize you can't carry on like that or you're gonna get cavities. You can't eat sweets for dinner. Otherwise, you're gonna get problems with the dentist. That's what's going on. Uh, so responsibility kicks in, whereas children don't have that yet going on for themselves. They have not developed, you know, that moral compass. So uh, grown-ups are essentially kids that made it, kids that survived. They entered into a grown um, body. What do kids hate? Kids hate the news. What do kids hate? Kids find it boring when everybody is talking about the war in Iraq, uh, the war in Ukraine. Uh, who cares about the nuclear deal? Oh, I just want to go play. Kids can't stand the news. Kids would much rather watch cartoons or something entertaining or listen to a celebrity like sing. They would much rather turn on some music. Like all the way into teenage years. You do find that odd ball in high school that's about like that checking out the news business. But for the better part of the time, kids would much rather listen to Beyonce and Jay-Z and Will Smith and uh, Lil' Kim. Okay, Lil' Kim is like kind of old school but recently she's been all naked on the stage over here. People, kids would much rather find out celebrity gossip. That's what they will scroll for hours on end on their like devices constantly turning then find out what a new random international law that Vladimir Putin broke with the war in Ukraine they would much rather find that out and as adults we get a little bit more mature hey because we get affected quite um nearly and immediately by wars like you know economies crash our salaries tank um our like promotions are nowhere to be found because of the gas prices that are increasing so no one can afford to give you that job promotion because the job has become null and void now that vladimir putin has like you know invaded ukraine like things affect you as an adult that causes you to watch the news to find out what's gonna you know be different your difficulty to pay your children's fees makes you uh try and figure out why the economy of your country is how it is is in it like ransacking the inflation rate so you become more interested in the news because literally it slaps you upside the head you are interested in it because it's directly affecting you and now you got to take care of those people those little ones that only want to listen to beyonce and her church girl song uh so therefore the responsibility that comes with adulthood makes us focus on world events and that's why we watch the news a lot and then we become interested in them and we make commentary and we feel important because people are listening to us speak and that's what kind of makes us like now watching the news hey that's what makes me feel interested to talk about it because people think that i'm interesting now and i'm clever who doesn't want to be called clever you know what i mean mm. but deep down inside really frankly i'd rather watch something on netflix than watch the news i still have that yearning in me but i got self-control you know brittle it like by the sprit put to death the deeds of the body Ugh. find out what's going on in the last days matthew 24 is unfolding you can't afford to keep on watching some random show on netflix so you better tune in to the world and find out what's going on there because that's gonna tell you if the lord is nice yeah. Yeah. Um, all right so i exercise self-control to not eat sweets because i care about my teeth and i exercise self-control to watch the news because i care about the return of the lord and the end of the world and the wars and rumors of wars that are going to make sure that i'm going home so i, I kind of you know tap into that space reluctantly more so than i would rather tap into netflix and we're all like that we're all like that inherently we are children that made it we are children that didn't kick the bucket Okay, we're survivors! We're not gonna stop, we're gonna watch harder! What's going on in Sri Lanka? And we're gonna comment! And we're gonna tell them Jesus is coming! Whoa, 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 whoa. I know that song because I'm more a child than I am an adult, just admit it! Okay, cool beans and bananas. Alrighty, guys. So due to the fact that the world is full of these uh, little children walking around in adult bodies, these survivors of childhood, hey, given that the world is, is like indwelt and teeming at the folds with these okies, um, we then need to be very careful to not try and feed the world of little children trapped in big people bodies. We need to not humor little children in big people bodies. We need to humor what Christ said to big people about what's coming. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these indeed, children, but children must be taught. Kids must be raised. Teach a child in the way that he or she must go and in the end they will not depart from it. So teach the child inside yourself to stop wanting to find out what's going on with Beyonce and be more interested to find out what's going on with Vladimir Putin because that child will then grow up to eat spiritual meat 
instead of lingering about spiritual milk because trust me expositing beyonce's thotty song is a lot less edifying than expositing the war in ukraine and how it fits into potentially the ezekiel 36 and 37 or is it 37 and 38 um gog and magog war that is up and coming that is a lot more edifying we know that the world in the last days is going to be insensitive to holiness it's going to be rampant with wickedness we know the thoughts and intentions of mankind are going to be evil continually we are aware guys we are not deceived as to the fact of that we know that contributing to the wickedness of mankind is going to be a very sodomic society much like that indeed in sodom and gomorrah where people are going to be doing whatever under heaven they want to do because they just want to do it because they belong to the religion of the lima and they do what they wanteth for that is the holy thought of the law we know that the world is going to be full of harpists and musicians that are singing about nothing but sex we know um but like christ did not focus on them all that much he focused rather on herod and on Pilate. so why aren't we focusing on herod and Pilate exactly why why i don't think that was appropriate for the neighbors but we did it anyway just to bring a little bit of a spunky affair in here listen gone there is a place to speaking about bay because the lord does say that babylon is going to crash with all its flute but the lord does say that these guys influenced the earth with all of their sexual immoralities and their harlotry right however the guys that bring about all the draconian rules that make our lives a living nightmare are the kings it's the antichrist guy it's the false prophet it's the leadership in the world not so much the beyonce's and the leadership of the world is boring they make you want to yawn oh my dad that would be drooling just from listening to them talk um, a lot of the time they're not even all that articulate but nonetheless you latch on to every word they say because they can change laws they can change the world they can change the outcome of your lawsuit they can change the outcome of your court case they can change the outcome of your child's future and so um, you kind of gotta listen to that guy first you know before you comment on beyonce's song okay guys what's going on right now is that christians are humoring or you know it's written in god's word that in the last days people are not going to endure sound doctrine and so in so being kind of fuzzy about it are gonna have itching ears and then gather for themselves a great number of teachers to teach them what their itching ears wanna hear and it's gonna be really very really disturbing cause you're gonna follow after seducing spirits and doctrines of demons cause they have more love the truth than have taken pleasure in their righteousness and so the Lord is gonna send them a very strong delusion that they might believe the law and all of them are going to apostatize and say that Christ isn't really. And so I'm going to go and snatch my daughters and sons because everybody down here is very really disrespectful. Mm. Playing with fire. And you're playing with so much fire. Oh, it's burning. There is fire on the mountain. And your body seems to be on the right. Oh, there is fire on the mountain top, and no one is so running. Because everybody's listening to Thotty or Church Girl, whatever the song is. They're by Beyonce, uh, and I'm like, Beyonce girl, repent, but you're literally not that important. You're a puppet on a string. You're a half breed. Beyonce's a half breed. She's a ten amount of a Jewish convert. Like, mm, it's not the real deal. You're never going to be taken too seriously by them. Like, that's what you need to understand. It's just a matter of you doing something strange for them to kick you to the curb and make you run into a house like Anne Heche, okay? With your, like, Mini Cooper. Like, why are you driving a Mini Cooper F52? I don't know. But move Moving on, you know what I mean? Moving on. Uh, there is a problem in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ at present. We are literally at the end of days. Things are deep and intense. And we want to go and titivate the itching ears of people who are gathering for themselves a great number of teachers to teach them what the itching ears want to hear. And we are checking our celebrity trends. What is trending currently? Like when a celebrity, a very prolific one, releases a new album, um, that is what's going to trend on the world scale. The Lord says, do not follow the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Okay? Uh, don't follow after the boast pride of life you need to be realistic and focusing on what it is that god is doing rather than what everybody would much rather focus on that's what moses did like people don't want to hear prophecy they despise prophecy they grieve the holy spirit that way people want to believe that things are good but remember like in the days of noah 
that things are good <laughs> for everyone but us. We see, we are not taken unawares by everything that's going on. For the Lord has given us sobriety. We are the virgins with oil in our lamp. Hello. That's who we are. Do you understand? We see in a way that everybody else just is not quite getting around fast enough to catching up and seeing. Okay? Uh, uh. That's who we are. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so because we are those uh, people, we are essentially, come on guys, just accept it. It's a rat. We are the party poopers. We are the party poopers. That's literally who we are. The Lord said the world hates party poopers. They're gonna persecute you, throw you out of the synagogue. Nobody's gonna dig you, cause the world hates disciples, cause we burst their bubbles. We are the party poopers. We're the person that rocks up in a room full of people laughing and don't ask what's the joke. We just get straight to work. Hi guys, please open your textbooks on page 257. We're gonna speak about ham stem cell implants today in our biology lesson. And everybody's still like... <laughs> <laughs> with tears coming out faces all flustered red with blood flow and you telling them to open to page 257 like get to the point with a boring teacher that comes into a class that she abandoned to go and speak with the principal and now we have to keep quiet even though we were doing our own thing that's who we are supposed to be and just like that boring teacher that rocks up in the middle of us laughing at some silly joke that a kid pulled on the right um eventually they get our attention don't they Eventually they make us keep quiet and look at the periodic table, don't they? Eventually they make us do our equations. Eventually they make us write our essays. Eventually they put a script on our desks to write a test. They eventually get us to do exactly what they want us to do, even though we would much rather continue being like... <laughs> What chapter must we open to now? They get your attention eventually because they're a figure of authority. Luke 10, 19, the Lord has given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means harm us. We rock up in a room and we've got the power that even though they don't want to listen, they eventually do, even though they would much rather carry on. <laughs> Laughing. So why do you doubt your authority? Why do you think that people are going to be disinterested in you if you don't talk about Eminem's apparent conversion? Or who is this like Okima Poppy? Justin Bieber's ambivalence with Christianity? Kanye West's ambivalence with Jesus? Kim's like issue with a boy toy? Why when Beyonce is busy professing Christianity when she's not or Cardi B mentioning Christ in her music, why is that making it more onto your ministries than Vladimir Putin? I don't understand it because Christ never focused on them that much. We have to be believe that people can be snapped because remember it's children that are that have survived <laughs> and they're adults now meaning they care about the gas price they do care about world events they do care about fluctuating stocks they do care about um the megalomaniacal random it itchy sensation dwelling in the global elites where they want to just take everything away from us they do care about that but you just need to kind of redirect their attention you need to come back to class and teach the lesson when kids are busy laughing at a joke they have made among themselves you shouldn't rock up and ask what's the joke you should rock up and be like hey open to page 257 and the kids will open to 257 because the lord has created in the human race a desire to hear his word believe it or not we are created with eternity in our hearts the lord has written his law on our hearts and so some people by the conviction of the holy spirit will instantly pay attention when you start to talk about the lord because people want to know where this is all going and things are so haywire right now that as christians we have literally got the answers to why it is that it's haywire and and how it can either stop or where it's going if it doesn't stop if people don't repent this is the direction if they do repent this is likely the direction we have got information that is important and that is believable because the holy spirit is convicting of truth understanding and sin and that people will listen to and literally grow up out of their five-year-old bodies where they want to listen to beyonce study all day long or church girl i don't know what the name of the song is again okay. that's what's going on so uh the the the, the desire or the pre pre propensity or predisposition within us to scratch the itching ears of people who want to know from a Christian vantage point what Beyonce is doing it's okay you can do that you likely might lead somebody to Jesus or cause someone to stop listening to Beyonce it's excellent the Lord does say and I believe somewhere in Corinthians one of the Corinthian books 
that call out from among you the sexually immoral and celebrities who profess Jesus like Beyonce and then go on and continue with the sexually immoral lifestyle the law says call them out and excommunicate them from the church so as to therefore motivate Christians to not listen to Beyonce's music because she is an ex communicated member of the church you then maybe might save their souls from listening to junk so it's important that you do that but it should not be the focus of your ministry when i was checking out when i was trying to grow my channel and i'm still doing that right um i was given counsel that you need to check out keywords especially within your niche and see what's trending there and for me to find christians trending world stuff is disturbing i don't want to know too much about the world especially considering christ did not tell us to focus too much on that whatever jesus says pay attention to we need to pay attention to that and we need to pay attention therefore to world leaders and there's not enough christians right now covering um the obvious like random insanity of global elites though as much as they're covering uh, other things like the moment believers hear about the death of the queen or the nun uh, coming up uh like ten amount of inauguration now of prince charles to king the those views are lower believe it or not than when they talk about beyonce there's actually one christian who confessed this right a brother in the faith that i follow that i subscribe to and he said that guys you know every single time you see beyonce or cardi b or kanye west in my title i get so many views uh, people come and watch me because they want to see what in the world is going on and yet when i'm busy talking about a more serious in-depth matters that are of spiritual greater significance it's more spiritual meat than milk my views tank all of a sudden so there is like this t t temptation inside christians to for the sake of continuing to get views to keep covering celebrity content and the uncomfortable thing about that is why do you not believe that the lord was um you know truthful in stating that follow me and i will make you fishers of men literally people will come into your dragnet um as fishies just because i put you in a particular position to draw them in those that don't come in it's itching ears you don't want them anyway they're the tears guys we should not be trying to get the same kinds of statistics as world channels have like a world channel that gets a million views for simply doing a mukbang is uh, it's just a worthless information content that is not edifying it's vain philosophies there is no uh, um girth to it but we also need to recall the scriptures said that narrow is the road that that leads to life and few they be that find it that literally the, the a small m minority of the world's citizens end up in heaven meaning that christian channels are never literally it will never happen get to the time or the point where they are as prolific as some world channels where they have got like 10 million subscribers or 50 million views per video bordering on a billion like they are happy that song yeah pharrell williams christians are just not ever gonna get there we have to accept that yes every so often god gives us the proliferated ministries of men like Martin Luther where we bring about the Protestant Reformation but we that that number is is rare it's it's we are um, sparsely scattered few and far between those of us who have got that kind of clout and that reach the majority of the time believers in the Lord Jesus Christ are going to have mediocre or average performing channels if you know what I mean uh, but that mediocrity is success and prosperity in the kingdom of heaven why because even when one sinner repents according to Jesus heaven rejoices even when one person comes so just one person is excellent for jesus to repent so if you have got one subscriber heaven is jumping we need to have that biblical perspective so we should not be trying to chase after subscriber numbers because the lord does say the world will hate disciples i have found that every time i try to water down my message and get somebody subscribing to me as a result of something that i said that was kind of airy fairy fluffy not really t touching too much on the gospel i got some subscribers indeed but by the next time i came and spoke something deep they unsubscribed because they did not realize i was that kind of a person if i don't mention jesus and enough times in a short or in a video i might get people subscribing based on that but i have literally brought them in with not so much destructive heresies or doctrines of demons but just a watered down version of what i'm actually about when i start to get all deep and intense then that's when the numbers fall off frankly i've even established um youtube psych psychological mental ill wealth and sort of men mental health day in my life where i don't even check my analytics at all um for at least like a couple of weeks of having progressed that i might see a net gain of subscribers as opposed to watching each individual subscriber fall off because of new content that i upload because there is an ebb and a flow in a ministry where some of my content is a little bit more light-hearted and then others is deep it's hard knock you're speaking about you know the abyss the eternal lake of fire where the worm dieth not and where it is that i'm speaking about deep matters or i'm speaking about the the very scandalous truth that jesus brought forward that is very difficult to listen to or hear by someone that is not convicted of sin or that does not want to walk away from sin despite conviction uh that 
difference between those days that you will then find me losing subscribers because somebody clicked on me just because I, I said Jesus loves you and he you know wants to heal you and your pain and the sorrow of your soul just give your life to him and you'll be content but the moment I talk about sin as like literally faith without works is dead the same subscriber will then fall away from me like that, that's what I'm picking up so I have to establish my, my own you know psychological health that I might not feel sad for losing subscribers I don't check so that like my, 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 my stats that I might see are only a net gain as opposed to individual losses um but that is what the danger of covering Beyonce's um like thing that she's doing that that's the that, that's the danger Christians are, are literally trying to gather for themselves stubborn souls like donkey like asinine rigid obstinate people that frankly want to hear that Jesus is gonna welcome them into heaven despite being fornicators despite being whatever like uh, accruing uh, sorry agreeing with certain agendas that is what being that kind of a Christian at least even if it's for five seconds means for you you're gonna not only you know starve those who are genuinely thirsty and hungry um, parch them and starve them you are also going to be feeding itching ears as a genuine disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ the days are dark um, we are in the very end and things are happening in such a way that Christians have to focus on the kings of this world but the kings of this world are boring they're hard to listen to try switching on CNN Fox News or even ENCA here in South Africa or SABC News all day long like just dreaming on it you will pass out potentially even vomit from just being sick of boredom do you understand you would much rather turn on channel O or something on Netflix it's easier to listen to entertainment than it is to the news but if you keep your ears to the ground keenly sharply listening to what's happening you will catch on much faster what's going on biblically and so therefore gauge how close we are to the end and so therefore rightly ramp up the warning warning in your ministry that guys as much as I thought we had another